Hi, I'm Kurt from Oz Armour and welcome to Workshop Wednesday. In the last 221 episode, Daryl and Jesse were working on the mudguards and while I was filming Bo on the Stug G, Daryl knocked up this beautiful stowage bin. He's flying solo at the moment and has moved on to something really special. We're working on the Panzer Busch 41 to get one into Australia if we could find one. We're going to deactivate it anyway so we thought instead of you know, destroying one, if we could find one to get it into this country, we'll just recreate one. We've got one of the shields, but the barrel's the main piece. And luckily, it's the main piece you see. Yeah, this is what I'm basing everything off. That there. <laughs> We've got the barrel, original. I made the front part of what would be the recuperator. Then I'll just use a bit of a 100 mil box section for the base. I've had to uh, try and recreate the breech block. We'll just go in and sit on top of those packers. Then the end of the breech. So now I've got to recreate the handle grips. There's one trigger that goes on the right hand side one that just hangs down here. These plates here, this is going to represent where the trigger and handle grip mounts onto the side of here. Daryl has already done quite a bit of work, but we're hoping that by the end of the day we'll be able to partially assemble it and get an idea of how it will all go together. He starts by welding these packers to the breech block. I should just weld something on top so it doesn't bounce around. On this is anti splatter. We've gone to all the trouble of making it nice and smooth and that, so I just don't want any welding spatter to go on it. If you can see welding spatter all over the table here, we want to keep it off those nice bits that we've done. So basically, now what I'm going to do is weld around the top here and a little bit in there, and then we'll grind it all off smooth so it looks like one piece. Just want to put a little bit of a clamp on that. Normally Jess would be here to weld this, so I'm trying to remember everything he told me. It looks great. <laughs> it looks smooth, eh? Get comfortable, he tells me. Good? Yep, that'll do. Yeah, okay, so it's tapered. It's tapered there, yep. Once again, Daryl is pushing his eyesight and measuring skills to the absolute limit using this 135th scale model. A bit to do. Design it in your head again and see how you're going. It's funny how it's offset like that. Well, they need to be able to load, so you can't have everything behind it. I'm just interested to see how heavy the bloody thing's going to be. Five mil pieces there. Fifty-five by seventy or five will do. We'll grind that off at the top. Right.
Now you know why we have Jess here. Sometimes my tacks are just that. They're very tacky. They're very, yeah, tacky. So we've just got that one through there. I won't tack it here until I put the other base one on. Roughly where we want it. These are the rear part of the hand grip. One will go here like this. I've got a bit of box section in and that's where the, the grips will be back here where my hands are. So I've got a bit of playing around with them just to round off a couple of sharp corners. may say a lot of self-depreciating jokes about his metalworking, but his skills are right up there. Alright, I'll just tack the trigger on. Basically, that's the trigger. I'll, I'll, I'll weld this off later. We'll keep going with the other bits and uh, I can play with this later on and finish it off. Now for the cradle and pivot point. Clamp this on so it gives me a good grip.
Rightio, let's do the bending bit again. mentioning that we're only tacking the barrel into place because it's going to have to go to the sandblasters to get all this rust off. shield uh, I've just got to work out so these mounting points or to make something that comes off this bracket here for it to mount to so I'll mount something like that was only a short one this week, but work like this, even though it may not seem like it fills out a 15 or 20 minute video, actually takes days to film. But don't worry, there's plenty going on here at the Oz Armour Workshops, and we have some fantastic content planned for the holidays. But that's all we have time for today. Join us next Wednesday for your weekly tank restoration fix. So until then, I'm Kurt from Oz Armour, and I'll see you on the next one. A bit more work on it, you know, jazzing up a bit more, but that should do it. <laughs>